So I'm a crazy necromancer who's able to buy spells and little troops. And I'm trying to destroy this king. Also, screw you, royalty supporter. Good cursed. My little bad skill makes him take one damage for every tile that he moves. And then he dies. All right, free reign to attack the castle. Come on, get him. Beat him up. You got it. And the good thing is if I have duplicate troops, I can level them up like so. Now I've got two flying skulls. Ooh, and a guy with a bow. So now obviously my blue is my attack and my red heart is my health. And the king has a lot more HP than I do. So I really need to do as much damage as I can in the earlier phase before he brings out his big troops. And there goes my skull guy, but he gave birth to a little baby man. He's got abilities. All right, good hits. Because I have a level two unit that does two hearts of damage. And oh God, we're getting to the new tier of stuff. And the king's health leveled up, man. Okay, throwing another bone. Ooh, milk buffs any one. There you go. Buff my skeleton guy. And reroll my units because those suck. Oh, I can level up my bowman. So now the first two steps he takes, he attacks an enemy for two damage. That's enough to kill most things. On to the fight while wow, my middle path is completely cleared. I'm gonna go ahead and wait to see who my bowman shoots. And he just cleared out one enemy for me. Wow. Just get free instant kills, buddy. Yes. Because now I can curse this little supporter down here. He's gonna take one damage and then we'll take a step and he takes another damage. Sweet, delicious victory, at least for my top lane, because those two skulls just <laughs> flicked that guy out of here. And now we're able to get a bunch of hearts onto the castle. Each of my skulls are three hearts if they make it, so that was a good seven health kill. Oh, cool. Buff my other guy with some milk, and the bard buffs the summoned allies by one. So if I put a bard on each of these, then the skull that pops out is 2-1, meaning I win. All right, let's see what you got, buddy. Oh, the snitch. This guy summons out 2-1-1 idiots, literally. You can imagine how annoying that is when, you know, I'm trying to cause world domination stuff. Don't worry, team. I believe in us. We got this. Getting good clears here. Oh, no. This this could be bad, actually. The great news is that my top and my middle rows easily get there. The bad news is I'm about to take my first heart of damage from this stupid looking dude. Whatever. Fast forward. Just start doing the hits. I've taken so much health off of the king. I think we're on a good pace. Oh, another sticky. This guy's nice because on level up, he becomes 3-4. Good for killing a whole bunch of dudes. And I just got the on death summon funny bone, which is fun because the double skulls on death summon a weak skull with the same item. Meaning if I put it on these guys, well, they become pretty busted. Go get them, friends. Where did all these troops come from? All right, uh, just get in there, I guess. Here's hoping. Can just vanquish all these guys if I'm lucky. The good news is since everyone has over three attack, I do one shot everybody, which is helpful in, you know, the whole killing process. My funny bone's a three, two. That's right. Thank you, my bards. Oh, wait a second. Not only do I clear my top and middle rows completely easily, but even my bottom row gets there. Here comes a beautiful seven, eight-ish heart hit on the king. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is good progress. And oh God, we leveled up again. That's a little scary. Oh, the milkman. When he dies, he gives huge attack and health boost. Put you in front of my little dude down here. And I can get my little dude down here the sh shielding item. And let's take a peek at the troops. Oh my god, he's got three three units now. That's only slightly concerning. I'll freeze the blessing and reroll. Can we find anything good-ish? I think if I move my milkman up, give a buff to this skeleton up here, and freeze this mausoleum, which gives me an extra gold. If my archer is nice, I can probably make it out of this with no health lost. I didn't really run my numbers, I just kind of guessed. And my archer is not nice. He keeps shooting people who don't die. It's fine. Because of the shield, I only take one one damage, pretty much. And so I can clear my bottom guys. My top guys are up. Wait, at 3-2? Oh, I'm gonna be able to survive up top. And there's only one guy left in the middle row? This is great. This is like taking candy from a baby that spawned two of itself. I think I'm still fine. Top row safe, middle row safe, bottom row neutral. Man. Ah, well, at least it's five more hearts taken away from the king who still has 30 health. This is so cruel. Ooh, buy mausoleum, buy another skeleton bowman all so, and roll for something else. Another protection shield honestly might be extremely helpful. And another roll. Oh, the bat curse. That would let me level up my book. Let's get that too. All right, to battle. That's a lot of knights up top and down low. Well, here's hoping my bowmen kill the guys up top. Otherwise, I'm not too certain if I can make it through this one. And my bowmen killed no one up top, actually. Thanks, guys, for helping out. It's fine. My tiny little skeleton dude should summon out a bone skull here. And then my bat kills the top one. I can just summon 
summon two guys here to clear both middles. But no, wait, two of these knights are alive down low. My bottom row is so much worse because I'm not summoning things. Well, there goes three of my hearts. But at least I got four more off the castle, right? Like it's not a total loss and I'm not pathetic and sad inside. No, I am. I am those things. All right, merge my bowmen to make a 3-3. Three, three, and what is this? A big bone skeleton that gains two attack every time he attacks? Get in there, slugger. And here, have a protection shield. And let me upgrade my bat curse. And then we'll just roll for something good. Oh, another milkman. Yes. And another roll. Anything fun? On spell, gain magic. Next step, attack random enemy for one. Is that good or bad? I'm gonna go with bad. Tell you what, we'll just start fighting. Oh my gosh, so many freaking dudes. Uh, here, you get bat skilled and you get bat skilled. Hopefully those will- Why would you shoot the guy who I've got bat skilled, you stupid bowman, please. And I thought he was about to shoot the other one. I was going to lose my mind. Okay, so this is probably fine. Oh, now you're going to shoot someone helpful? Stupid jerk. Unfortunately, my twin skeletons won't be able to get there. However, my skeletons thankfully can just spawn children who then spawn more children. And so I think I actually make it through without taking any damage this time. Yes, game, survey says. Answer, yes. Oh, and I've got my tier three guy in the back. So this is just a huge heart. I, I wait, I hit him with my guy who was level three and he only lost huh? one heart. Why did that happen, game? Was that a bug? I feel like I've missed out on something. Whatever. Ooh, upgrade my mausoleum. Now I get two gold on turn end. Hi. I'm at one life to ally behind. I want to put that on my big skeleton guy. And I want to upgrade my milkman. Becomes two four. That's huge. And he drops a four three. Oh my gosh. And do a quick reroll. I'm getting tier one uh, guys still. This is the worst day. So I'll take this blessing to protect from all damage, but just for one attack. Thank you. What do you got for me, buddy? A lot of night freaks again. It's a shame they're having bad abilities. Good damage there just to kind of whittle them down. My archer doesn't want to shoot one of the healthy damaging guys because they're stupid, but that's fine. If my archer is nice, he'll kill someone. Finally, thank you. I was going to protect my archer, but alas, there is no need. Top row is cleared. Head into the bottom. And I, well, just cleared the bottom row. Middle row will also be cleared just as easily. And I just want to use my blessing here, buddy. Go on that. It's just a stack of boners that rattle the boys. At least according to this description. Yes, good health damage. Are we able to kill him here, ideally? No? I really don't want to go to the next level. I feel like the king's going to get... Oh, okay, no, we can go to the next level. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do, game. Thanks. Throw in another bone, I guess. What do we have here? Every two steps, attack the weakest enemy. Sweet. Get in there, buddy. Give ally behind permanent plus one attack. Let's put you in front of my milkman, and then give my milkman a handy-dandy little shield. And I've only got three coins, so I kind of need to buy something here. I don't know. Get another attack boosting blacksmith up there. On to battle. And oh, he has bowmen now. And a knight that has a shield. All right. I'm cursing the knight to take his shield away, and I'm cursing this bowman in the middle to take his bow away. Let the game begin. And my chameleon just absolutely decimated someone. This is good. As long as their bowmen don't somehow end up killing any of my guys, I think life will work out. The bad news is this APC summons two guards out like that. It's so cheap to just be able to summon out two, three, three units. What am I to do? At least the good news is that I've killed his entire top row. And now my skeleton here is seven, six, which actually get blessinged, buddy. I'm not going to summon people out with funny bone but that's all right because I'll be able to get my skeleton here and there's only four hearts remaining on the king which means I can head into the final battle just yep keep keep bonking your heads against the thing guys that's that's fine I guess you got it sure I either kill the king and survive or I die trying all right well that's I mean no that's heartwarming thanks so let's take a little spy oh my gosh so the king has two princes that are 610 and have shields the king himself is seven attack and 43 health there's a lot of knights there's some archers this is gonna be a battle. Let's level up my chameleon, combine my bards together, and if I add in my big bone friend, he gains four attack on attack. So let's move you up there, put him over here in the middle. I guess I can sell my mausoleum because it doesn't matter anymore. And reroll a succubus on hit charms enemy to my team. Tell you what, level up this blacksmith to clear some space. Go up top. And can I reroll and hopefully get another blessing book or another succubus? Tell you what, head down here in the bottom row, friend. All right, to battle we go. I really need my succubi to stay alive, so I'm just gonna rob two archers of their bow, and if this one final archer shoots her two times in a 
row, I will be claiming this game is rigged. And, well, they shot her once. You know what? Maybe that's a good thing. Also, actually, wait. Give her blessing? Because she protects from all damage for one? So wouldn't that mean that whenever I hit this guard here, I just get him on my team for free? And then he'll be a sacrificial little pawn to hit this big thingy. And we're going. And we're going. This can work. The king is taking some damage. My bottom row is going good. The top row summoned out three more guards. Buffed my big skelly guy. There is hope. Kill the guards up top. My big skeleton takes exactly too much damage. But my chameleon shoots. No. Are you kidding me? The king has seven HP left. Does it count as damage to him if I get to the castle? I have so much HP, it doesn't matter if the princes end up hitting me. I could have tanked it, I just needed to kill the king. Oh, I need to work on my necromancer powers more, I guess. Good thing I can do this as many times as I want.